guys, it's Uncle Scott, and welcome back to the Quirker Reacts channel. And this is going to be a different kind of video. Uh, I have been obsessed. I don't know another word for it, but I have been nonstop thinking about playing the Ren Cujo beatdown song. It's so good, especially when you know the whole backstory behind it. If you need to know more context for that and you haven't been on my channel before, uh, please go watch that. Uh, my last video, which was basically my first reaction to this song. And I played it all the way through in its entirety in that one, and then played it again with some commentary. Since I've been watching it again, I have like caught so many more references. And I was like, I, and I've watched a lot of other reactors too. And I think some, I don't think that the, all the reactors are missing it. I just think some people haven't said things. And so I thought, I'm so excited about it. I just want to share it with all of you who are renegades. So I'm just thinking to myself, so just do a video and say, hey, did you catch this? And we can all like enjoy the moment together. Because if you did catch it, you'll be like, yes, I caught that. And if you didn't catch it, you'll be like, oh my God, of course, that's what it is. So I'm just going to do it. And if only like four people watch it and we all sit there and go, that's awesome. Then because of all the thing, not the video is awesome, but he's awesome. Then I'm down. So that's what this video is. Uh, for those of you who do follow my channel a little bit, you'll know that when I'm doing these, I'm always drinking water. I drink liquid death all the time. Uh, and I've never drank really anything else, uh, but that, but to give you an idea to put into context, how different this kind of video is going to be. This is scotch on the rocks. So, yeah. It's going to be that kind of video. Okay. I am so excited to do this with you. You have no idea. I've been thinking about this all day. I had work today. And I, and I work like nine-hour shifts. I, the entire day, I'm putting on TV. Like, I'm like watching the stuff that I just produced go on TV. And I'm like, uh-huh. When can I go home and do the rent thing? that I really want to do right now. So yeah, that's where we're at. I'm sorry, guys. I'm way too hyped. I know. You, you're probably used to it. By, I, I hope you're used to it by now. Uh, all right. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, and you'll also notice, which is also unusual for my channel, the captions are on because I want to specifically talk about work, lyrics that he's saying uh, and the meaning behind them and some of the actions he's doing. Uh, I'm not going to go into a lot of the back and forth of what's going on between him and Cujo because you should know that if you're watching this, I'm assuming. And if not, like I said, go back and watch my other video. Uh, if you're here to like listen to the song, this isn't the video to do that with. I'm telling you that right now. Go back and watch the other video. I listen to it in its entirety, and then I listen again. This one is going to be a lot of stopping after certain verses so that we can put things into context. Uh, also, unfortunately, unlike the other video, it would be nearly impossible with the way my system is set up. I, this is like a Jerry Rig system. It would be almost impossible for me to make my virtual studio insert the clips like I did the last time. It would take too long with all the stopping I want to do. So I'm probably going to be doing a lot of pointing like that, which you'll know means like, okay, well, now he's in edit and he's going to edit in that clip. Uh, so it's just kind of a marker and uh, just kind of a way I do it. I don't know. Why am I explaining this to you? Who knows? Because uh, I'm way too excited and I think some of it is I like the anticipation of being able to do this. Okay, so here we go. This is going to be a much more in-depth look for Renegades and maybe new Renegades that may not get references. I'm going to put all the references in here that I saw that I felt like just kind of, know what I mean? Because they did for me the first time I watched it. Some of them I didn't pick up till the 40th time I watched it. So, uh, all right, let's go. Uh, very cool. Um, oh, I hit the wrong button here. Hold on. I forgot. I'm not on the right thing. There we go. That's what I need. Let's do this. Okay, here we go. Oh. So good. All right, and we're, right away, we already know, right? If, if you haven't heard Sick Boy, which you can't hear the original anymore, but fortunately for you, I have a screen recording of it because I did a reaction to it. So uh, he basically did this exact same kind of breathing beat at the beginning of that. So that's an obvious reference. Obvious why I put it in there. But just in case you needed to see it.
So there you go. You understand what I'm saying. I'll back it up a little bit so you can see it from the beginning again, and you'll notice that it's the exact same tempo, exact same beat. Here we go. The person who is rightly doing right, who is right there on the right, just path, no wrong in words are right. But the forces out there test me, ran, I'm trying to find the path and forgive all those who test my will. There's trouble in my heart. What the fuck, you little pussy? This ain't highway number two. So, right away, right? He's the being the really nice guy, and then this is the bad side from high. It's basically high rent. He's arguing with himself, and it seems pretty obvious. Uh, it looks just like pretty much this scene. Man, it's not like that. Man, it's just like that. I'm inside you, you twat. No, it's not, man. You're wrong. When I write, I belong. Let me break the fourth wall by acknowledging this song. See what I mean? It's kind of the same thing. So, very cool that he says this isn't High Ren number two as he's being the angry guy from High Ren. I'm sure a lot of you caught that. This ain't pendulums or songs of hope that can't talk from you. Pendulums or songs of hope? What's that from? It was a pendulum, eternally swaying from the dark to the light. I'm saying, guys, he's making direct references in this song. This is even the best one. The one that I didn't originally catch, I can't wait to show you guys because I was like, it, it took me a while to like put it together. And then once I did, I was gobsmacked. Okay. The last time we did this, the hope did prevail. Now the hope is the road that will choke a bitch pale. No, no, just. What's that in reference to? Same, same part of High Ren, right? Here you go. Some people know me as hope. Some people know me as the voice that you hear when you loosen the noose on the rope. You see what I mean? He's so amazing. Guys, this isn't going to be a 30-minute video. I'm going to try to do it in like less than 15 minutes, but I'm going to stop like this for each lyric so we can talk about it, or I can talk about it, and I can kind of hear you through the screen, I guess. I don't know. Wait, just wait, just wait a sec, because there's nothing to be gained when you sever the neck. I know the art is Still a part trying of to be the heart, nice so guy. Upset, but this hate breeds hate. Please wait, geez, when. I'm getting pretty sick of the sick boy. Trying to be the it boy. Trying to be the I'm so morally equipped boy. Hey, say your mother. You can't convince me that's not a little bit of an homage to Slim Shady. That's him saying that's kind of what's happening here to me. It's him saying uh, this is kind of how I'm like Slim Shady does that in the like that. You know what I'm talking about? It's he's doing the same thing like that on purpose. In my mind, that's how I see it. Fuck Ren, now let me cut this worm with my razor blade pen. Let me cut this worm with my razor blade pen. Bar. Ugh, fuck it. And then he just like, yup. You know what? Guy deserves it. Let's do it. And then I love that he brings him in. My, my only downside of this when he brings him in is that he doesn't, uh, that this was in the thumbnail of the song when he was promoting it. So we kind of knew that he was going to be tied up and taped up. And yes, a lot of people were acting asking in reaction so i'm assuming the audience was asking too this he did get his friend the guy the guitar player from back on 74 to shave his head to look like cujo kind of looks same with the girlfriend looks kind of like her Please don't try to struggle, hear me out See, I'm on your side, really Well, I was, till I found you could get a little greedy Push your luck a little far There's a moral, little Jimmy, of the cookie and the jar See Okay, that was the one that took me a while to pick up I don't know why, but did all of you pick that up? When he says that, there's a, uh, there's a moral little Jimmy of the cookie in the jar So who's Jimmy? Let me tell you a story about a boy named Jimmy Right? Please tell me. I, I, I'm imagining all of you like looking at the screen being like, it's Money Game 3. It's Money Game 3. But did you put together, like I put the Jimmy together, but I forgot, I don't know why, or I didn't connect the dots of the last part when he's sitting there with the strings. I'll just show it to you. Jimmy followed the code inside the land of the free. Put your hand inside the cookie jar, take more than you need. How awesome is that? That he did that this way to drive it home because that's basically what he's saying. This is all about greed. You're playing a money game, man. And I wrote the lyrics to money game, all three of them. So what are you doing, bro? 
You mess with the wrong guy. Dumbass. He's a dumbass. Again, this is a scotch video. There's going to be cursing. Just warning you. See the needy and the greedy, they're just trying to fill a hole. So they take and then they take us to the empty in their soul. They feel so hard done by poor little you. Want to take from me, bitch? Then I'll take from you, too. Genius. <laughs> and we all know, ooh, how did I do that? Stop it right on that. That's awesome. Now, I saw one reactor say that they know some of these people in the back so that it is his, like, friends and stuff like that. Um, but also, there's that connection to the sample that Cujo, you know, allegedly stole was of the choir in Sick Boy. So him adding this in is just so perfect and to represent what, Cujo apparently did. Also, someone in the comment was like, you don't need to say allegedly. He obviously did it. And I'm like, right, but you're you kind of that's technically like fraud, and you can't say that someone committed fraud. Uh, they would have like the ability to go after you if you didn't kind of say, you know, until they're found guilty of the fraud, you can't just say it. Uh that's little nuance thing in my brain that I can't let go. So that's why I try to always say allegedly or apparently or that kind of thing, or someone says that they did that. Uh, all right, here we go. This is amazing. This is such a cool idea too, to put the chorus behind them, but the chorus comes back a little later and we'll explain that too. Bringing the girl in. You said the last, or you said you like it rough, or you said she likes it rough, you're a bitch, man, what the fuck? So now that line right there is just to hit him over kind of like their relationship and sex stuff that he's sexually inadequate basically because he's saying she likes it rough and he's not doesn't have the ability to be a tough guy he thinks he's a tough guy he's not a tough guy he hasn't dealt with the stuff that ren's dealt with plus bro i've seen pictures of you on your instagram have you seen ren without his shirt off the broken throw down i can just tell. have you seen murderer bro come on come on I'm confused by this dynamic Like it's Bonnie and it's Clyde With the killing you're committing is career suicide Bar Bar Well guys, you probably think that this is extreme I won't lie Maybe just a little bit mean, you know I Feel a little bad about it really Nah, I'm only messing lad I love to spank the greedy I love to spank the greedy What's that? Money game one, two, three Money Game 2, I'm still convinced, has one of the best verses in music I've ever heard. I'll break it down for you motherfuckers line by line. This is business economics in the nursery rhyme. It's one of my favorite things that he's ever written. Uh, and he's saying, like, I love to spank the greedy because I know that people do this for the money. And that's all you're doing, man. You're doing this for the money that you don't deserve. Cujo, you don't deserve it. Because either way, no matter what, you don't deserve to take half of his revenue because you saw how it blew up. Even if you didn't steal the sample, allegedly, even if you didn't do that, that it wouldn't matter. He, you, so you gave him a universal license, man. You're just going back on your word, and that makes you a scumbag. It just does. Facts. I hope you wake up sweating from your nightmare scene. I'm the sick boy. So right there, if you caught it, and I don't think I'll be able to catch it in going back. Um, if you noticed, Ren is in the chair first. Top, like, there's a flash of it where Ren is in the chair and Cujo is coming over him. And it happens for like a split second. I missed it the first time I watched it. I'm sure many people did too. And the cool thing about that is that he's basically saying like, yeah, I'm sitting here trying to be nice to you. And you had me tied up and you're like leaning over me. And it wasn't until I decided to take it back. It wasn't until I decided to take the power back of my own art and not let you do this to me, which is why he took Sick Boy down. Now, fortunately, fortuitously, I have landed on this screen right here. What does the pig represent? The pig, many people have surmised, and he's kind of hinted at, represents, it represents a few things to him, but he does agree that some of it is this kind of like beast that kind of has prevented him from making his music in the past or has been like the ride along for his music, but not necessarily in a good way. Um, so now he's got, he immediately replaces himself with the pig, right? And he's yelling at the pig in the same way that he's yelling at Cujo saying, you're not going to tie me up, bro. 
We're flipping the script now, bitch. That's how we do shit now. That's what he's saying. I. This song is genius. Like, I'm making a second video about it because it's genius. I can't stop watching it. I think it's going to, I think I'm going to end up watching this more than I watch High Ren. And High Ren moved me, like changed my life kind of moved me. And I can't stop watching this. And I think it's because I think we all just wanted to see what would happen if someone really pissed off Ren. Not, I, I, that sounds so nefarious, but I don't know what else to say. Because we knew that if someone rubbed the wrong way, that's why all of us were like, oh, what's going to happen with Dada when he was doing all that stuff? And when Ren came out and the whole first three quarters of that song was absolutely insanely good and he was just hitting them and hitting them and hitting them. But then he ended it the way that you know how Ren ended it. I'll get to that in a minute. Sorry. I This, this song has not left my head. I'm constantly listening to it. I'm constantly watching different reactions to it. I can't get enough. Uh, do you guys feel the same way? Please tell me in the comments if you feel the same way. I, and the funny thing is, and I'll put I'll put this right here right now from his original video when he told us that this was going to happen. He said it. I don't think I've ever heard him talk the way that he talked about this song. And that I haven't seen every interview he's ever done. So don't hold that against me. I'm just saying when he was like, I like it, or it's really good. I'll play it for you. It's called Cujo Beatdown. Um, and I love it. We made an amazing video for it. When he said that, I was like, oh, he kind of got that little, that little smirk going. He really digs this song. He really digs the video. Okay, bet. Let's see what happens. Because if Ren's jazzed, I'm ecstatic. And that's what happened. This is that you enslave free me when you fuck with my work you might as well bleed me. i put my whole soul into my words legally i put my whole soul into my words legally right we all get what that means i put my whole soul into my words legally because he says that freaking cujo wannabe rapper dickhead is over there not not doing things legally, but still wants to get rewarded for it, which is tapioca. So the other really cool part about this, and this is the part about the choir that I thought was genius, and I didn't fully put two and two together right away in the first time I watched it because I think I was so psyched about the song and the flow and the thing that he does where he's like, what the you know, the cadence of the flows and everything he was doing, I was like, this is amazing. Is now the choir is killed and dead all around the chairs right all around the the three of them why is that because that's they represent the sample they represent the sample that wasn't allowed to be used in sick boy so when he's saying i write my own words legally and then you see all the dead choir people from the representing the sample around him he's driving home the point of so because you didn't do things legally i had to kill my song i had to kill the work and the art that i love because i had to kill the choir because the choir couldn't be in it because of the sample that wasn't allowed to be in it it's genius like it's genius he's telling you what's going on and representing things in lyrics in music in body language and acting and then in scenery in what you're viewing it's all it's art in every medium it's so awesome okay sorry now a little feast one beef one steal from me that's how little feast lose teeth you meal to me i'm the subject matter you are part of the scenery bar bar I'm the subject matter. You're a part of the scenery. And the best part about that bar is that he offered this asshole to be a co-star with him. He offered it. He was like, I will do a song with you. Let's do an F you to the music industry. We'll write one together and we'll do it. And this guy was like, no, because he's greedy. He was like, I just want my money from Sick Boy because he knows Sick Boy was a huge song. Do you really believe that Ren puts out bad songs, dude? Are you really that dumb? Did you not sit there and go, hey, maybe I should look at the rest of this guy's repertoire? All he has is bangers, bro. I've never listened to a Ren song and been like, nah, that was all right. It's never happened. 
And I clearly have much better fucking taste than you do because you told him no. You're so dumb. You're so dumb. Like, you should win an award for being the dumbest human on the planet. Because how do you not say yes to rent? He gave you like 30,000 olive branches and you were like, no, I just want greenbacks. You're crazy. You're crazy. You, you're greedy. You're crazy. You saw dollar signs and you're not getting them. You're not getting them because of him. Nuts. It's so good. that On the subject matter, you're a part of the scene. This is how the sick boy work. You feeling me? Cunt, I'm sick with the pen. I went easy on the daughter. He's a friend, Zen. But I went easy on the data, right? Example. I genuinely mean it when I say you should shine. I just played you at your game, so welcome to mine. I want all of my fans to show Dot at a time because he's actually sick at rapping. Go and like and subscribe. So that's what I was talking about before. He did this whole thing, beat him down, and then was like, come on, man. Like, I, I played you at your game. Now come over to mine, which his game is always kindness. It's turning the other cheek, then the other cheek. And this guy was like, how many more cheeks you got? Dumbass. But if I ever hear your mouth speak the name of Ren Out in public, then it's public, you don't want that again And no warning for your bitch, triple girlfriend too Miss is nice behind the scenes, poor Cujo, boo -hoo. If I ever read another fucking comment from you Then this is only part one, it's even worse than part two And I like how he's kind of moving towards them when he hits the light switch it's very subtle, but it's kind of, <laughs> excuse me, it's kind of like he's implying this isn't done. And then in true Ren fashion, he still, he can't, you can't take the kindness and the niceness out of him. He still says, I don't want you to go to his channel. I don't want you to blow this guy up. I don't want you to leave him comments on his stuff. I don't want you to ruin his life. I don't want you to do that because he knows that we would. <laughs> that we'd roll over there and be like, bitch, you crazy. You, This guy could have had an entire army of renegades on his side, just like we all did with Webby, right? We all heard Chris Webby and him do that song, the baggage song. I was like, damn, this slaps. All right, who's this guy? Same thing with Prof. I never heard of Prof before. I didn't think that song was as good as the baggage song, but what was that? Pain salesman. I didn't think it was as good. It was good, but I didn't think it, I thought baggage was better. I also kind of liked the music video better. Uh, Cause it was like a full on music video. Um, but okay. He still, he does stuff with other artists and it blows up and those artists get, they're elevated. They're elevated. Cause what is, what does Ren always say? Rising tides lift all ships. We all do this together. There you go. So he couldn't help himself. He still had to be ran at the end. Everyone, I've seen a lot of people talking about how they want to see a part two and everything else. Why? This was perfection. Like, I, I, I want to see a part two just for the fact that I want to continue the feeling that I get when I watch this. But other than that, like, I feel like that's how you know you found the right partner is when you're like, yeah, I want to see them again because I want this feeling to continue. And that's what this is. I'm apparently in love with this song then because I can't stop watching it and it just elevates me. I immediately get jacked. It's it's like two in the morning and I worked all day and I'm like, I've almost been up for 24 hours and I'm just so excited and I'm so energized from listening to this song and just being like, oh, it's so good. And I'm sitting there on my couch and I'm because I thought I was going to do this tomorrow morning. I'm like, you got to do it now, man. You're feeling it. The energy's coming out of you. This is amazing. Ren is amazing. I hope you guys appreciate why I needed to do this video. And it's probably not going to get anybody to watch it, but that's okay. Because sometimes you just need to get it out of your system, if you know what I mean. Uh, hopefully, if you're a renegade, you understood why I needed to show all of this. Uh, and if you're new to Ren or you're new to my channel, hopefully you still enjoyed the ride and enjoyed some of the context that I provided because I thought it was really cool how all of this stuff kind of wove together. And he does that with all of his stuff. Uh, Renegades know it. If you're new to being a renegade, you got to check it out and really listen to some of the stuff he says. Uh, guys, have an amazing week. Uh, this is, 
I'm so happy this exists. Uh, and I'm so happy you exist. And I'm really hoping that you follow my advice that I gave at the end of every video and you don't wait for life to be easy to be happy.